Who's better, LeBron James or Steph Curry? In categories, crunch time, ability to lead, when all else fails, who would I rather have on my team to win the finals? Let's start with crunch time. Steph Curry has shown us that he has grown as a tremendous player in regards to stepping up in need. And he showed us this throughout the playoffs, especially when they were down 2-1 against the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, LeBron James has had big games throughout the playoffs through the course of his career, not only in scoring and rebounding, but facilitating great opportunities for his teammates. LeBron James gets the edge in crunch time because he's done it on a more consistent level, and Steph Curry is in the process, and boy, he's gonna get there soon. Ability to lead. Steph Curry has grown as a leader. He's quiet, but he leads by example and great work ethic. And I thought his leadership was still on the floor when he got hurt and went to the locker room against the Houston Rockets, and I thought they played extremely well. LeBron James, his leadership has been second to none other than Tim Duncan over the last few years. He loves his teammates, he shows it, he gives them respect on the court. He is not a taskmaster. He puts them in situations where they can excel. He gets the advantage right now because Steph Curry's still growing in that process. And LeBron James has shown us that if you play with him, he will raise the level of your play. When all else fails, who gets the nod? Well, LeBron James gets the nod. Why? Two championships already. He is great across the board. He's been there, he's done it. And if you wanna bank your money on anyone to win a championship, you're gonna bank it on LeBron James.